Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amanda Flugrad, and he's Mark D'Amico, and we are back at it again for the 2021-22 season, and that means that the Boston Celtics schedule is here. Mark, it kind of feels like Christmas morning again with all the excitement going on. <laughs> yeah, Christmas in August. I mean, we'll take this. Usually this is the downtime of the NBA offseason, but we all know things have not gone as planned over the last couple of years, so good to be talking NBA basketball here in uh, mid to late August. Yeah, and we'll just dive right in and discuss some of the marquee games this season. We'll volley back and forth on a few that I'm looking at and then discuss the ones that you want to highlight as well. But for me personally, uh, I'll take it away. The Celtics opener against the New York Knicks on October 20th on the road. This game is not only the start of the season, but it's also our first chance to get a look at this new Celtics team with the new faces and also Ime Udoka's first game as head coach. So that's something to look forward to. And Mark, you have to look at the opponent as well the Celtics going up against Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier I mean just last season we were talking about them and their role with the Celtics and now they'll be on the other side of the ball this will be the first time that we get to see Kemba with his new team and also see where his overall health is at and if that knee is still going to be a lingering issue for him we got a chance to cover Kemba though we all want good things for him we love that smile he has a great attitude he was a great teammate in the locker room and I think it's really fun to win witness his journey kind of come full circle and see him back home in New York now. Yeah, no question. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how it works out in New York as well, because I listen, you talked about his knee. I think he's going to be fine on opening night. We'll see about later in the season. But what I'm most interested in with him playing for the Knicks is Tom Thibodeau now as a defensive minded head coach needs to figure out a way to have a, qual a quality defense uh, with Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier, who neither of them are known for their defensive abilities. Um, they got to try to cover up and mask those guys. So this was one of the top defensive teams in the league last season. We'll see what that turns out to be this season. Now, I mean, I'm going to move forward. There's a stretch in early November that I'm really looking forward to because I think this stretch from November 1st to November 12th is going to be an opportunity to really see where the Celtics stack up against the rest of the East and mainly the top of the East because they've got four games uh, where they're playing against strong opponents. Um, two of those games are against two teams that really loaded up this offseason in the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat. Both of those teams, you got Kyle Lowry um, going down to Miami. They reloaded with a couple other of their uh, re-signings. And then you've got in Chicago, they add Lonzo Ball. Um, they add DeMar DeRozan. This is a team that's really looking to make a push. And it's a team that just acquired Nikola Vucevic last season. And then to end that stretch, you're closing out with the game against the defending champs. So a really tough stretch there. But this one in December, Amanda, from December 3rd to 10th, this five-game road trip might be the most difficult road trip I have seen on the schedule in my 13 years here with the Celtics. That's saying a lot. And you and I have gone through some of these and just seen how difficult they can be. But this one, I think, is the toughest. All of them, all five are against playoff teams. Uh, four of them will be played in back-to-back -back sets. So you've got two back-to-back -back sets out of five games on the road against teams that made the postseason last year. And four of those five teams are going to be considered to be title contenders if they are healthy. So a really tough stretch for the Celtics. I'm really curious to see how they get through it. First, that November stretch early on, and then again in, De in December to really see where these guys stack up before Christmas rolls around. Well, and Mark, looking at the schedule, because of COVID last season, we saw the NBA start to limit travel for teams, and there were a lot more mini series happening. And this is going to be happening again this season. You look at the Celtics schedule the second week, it's a mini series against the Wizards. They'll host the Wizards on October 27th, and then they're going to be on the road October 30th against them. How can you see teams using that to their advantage and getting more time to prepare for teams having just faced them and not having to prepare for another opponent right away? I love the mini series. Uh, I, I just like the fact that it's kind of like a mini playoff series. You can make your adjustments after the first game, implement them in the second game uh, and really make it a little bit more baseball oriented where you're going to one town to play a couple of games or you're just going to play them a home and home and back to back games. I think it adds an element of excitement to the schedule. I really enjoyed it last year when they implemented it. 
What do you think, Amanda? Did you did you like them working this into the schedule last year? And are you excited for it this year as well? Yeah, definitely. And I think, too, what they did with just in terms of players safety and maybe not having them travel as much. I know the players enjoyed that as well. And Brad Stevens, when he was head coach last season, said that that was something that was a little bit easier for them in just managing games moving forward, too. Yeah, and no question. I do have one little note on travel. The Celtics, as currently constituted, are scheduled to travel 42 thousand miles during their their travel schedule this season so they're going to log a lot of miles they might have a free a few free flights after this season winds up i know i was gonna say those airline miles will definitely <laughs> add up <laughs> and hopefully you and i are there for a few of them amanda yeah i know i'm looking forward to that hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed but uh, mark thank you as always for the time and um, make sure that you tune in remember training camp is just around the corner starting on september 28th and we'll have all of your coverage from that coming your way as well